So what size, um, or let's put it this way, number of units, when, when you're, you have a criteria that you're looking for, how many doors or what kind of square footage are you looking for uh, in each uh, project? Yeah, we look at it more through the lens of net rentable square footage versus unit count, because unit count can kind of vary based on the submarket. If you've got a, a higher higher size average unit mix, your unit size, your unit count's gonna go down and vice versa. Um, our sweet spot is generally 45 to 50,000 net rentable square feet. We'll occasionally go lower than that if we're buying a property as part of a portfolio and we can achieve some uh, geographic concentration, but we're, we're not targeting one-off deals and new markets that are below 45,000 feet. I, I know you're limited. I'm sorry. I know you're limited as to what you can really say about your fund, but um, I think a lot of people would be interested. You said you started a fund, then you closed it out in 2020. 20. Yeah. And now you've got a new one. So if, if, you know, investors are interested in investing in your fund, talk a little bit about what it's like, it, you know, why it has a drop dead date on it and, um, why you're doing a new one. How, how does that work? Yeah, our, our funds are very focused on income first and then capital appreciation second. Uh, income's a lot easier to quantify and predict than cap rates, you know, five, six, seven years down the road. Um, <clears throat> we have a, a fairly standard waterfall structure. We have an 8% accumulating preferred return. And we curate our portfolio in a manner where we can distribute that quarterly out of the gates from acquisition. After 8%, every excess distribution goes to return investor capital accounts. So in short, investors are receiving 100% of the distributions the fund makes until preferred return is satisfied and until their money's back. And after those two things occur, uh, the split with investors is between 70-30 to 80-20 uh, based on how much money they invest. Wow. And are you refinancing it at that point? We are not refinancing as part of our model. We certainly could, but we're getting some very attractive debt terms that don't really call for a refi. Um, our last round of debt was at 3.8% 10 year fixed full term interest only. So from a, from a dividend yield perspective, I mean, there's different philosophies on amortization versus interest only. You know, amortization is good in that you're burning off principal in the loan, but amortization is not distributable cash flow. The only way to monetize that amortization is to either refinance or sell. So that's why we found the interest only vehicle a little more attractive. Um, so unless the interest rates go down a lot, which is almost impossible to say uh, or imagine if they get much lower than they are today, uh, we don't need to refi. And uh, if rates stay the same, we create some value. We would consider doing that to distribute some capital back to investors. Um, but that's not a liquidity event that we're underwriting to in our model. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, so after that, that 10 year period, are, are you, um, is your exit from those properties a, a sale or uh, maybe at that point a refinance? And uh, Yeah, we get, a, we get a few options on the exit. Um, our primary objective is to return investor capital within reason as quickly as we can. And that's not necessarily tied to a disposition of the asset base. So we're underwriting to a staggered one-off sale of each property beginning on year six. Um, other scenarios might be a recap of the entire portfolio, giving investors the option to step up into new co at a tax-free basis or increase in basis or have a liquidity event. Uh, another option potentially is to sell the entire portfolio to a larger investor like uh, private equity or institutional capital. So we've got a couple different options on the exit side and of course the refinance, as you mentioned, Bill. Um, but uh, our plan is to hold these for a while and enjoy the uh, repeatable, durable income streams that, that yeah. we think self-storage offers.